Hey everybody, this is Deb with Truthfication Chronicles, and like I said in my last video, this is another one, but it has to do with the Christmas tree lighting and some stuff that went on, so let's just get into it. We're going to start with this BNL News, which is Breaking News Live. This is their Twitter account, and we just start out there tweeting, President Donald Trump wishes everyone a Merry Christmas, and that was a tweet he made, and then Twitter suspended an account that was supposedly Russian President Vladimir Putin's English language account, but later on they say that it no, it was an imposter account. So that's why they suspended it. So that's what I know on that. So let's go on. It goes, President Trump's motorcade has reportedly suddenly left the press at the Christmas tree lighting. White House aides refusing to explain what happened developing. Well, let's go on. And then it says, White House declares a lid following a sudden leave from the Christmas tree lighting, meaning that the president won't appear again today. White House aides still haven't explained what happened and why they suddenly left. The White House staff normally works in concert with Secret Service to ensure the press pool is always in the president's motorcade. Usually it goes without a hitch, but something went amiss this evening and we've had no explanation, member of press pool says. So something was a little strange. And then this came up by the POTUS schedule. Now, POTUS schedule here is not an official account. See, there's no check next to it. It is not a verified official account. However, I've heard that the person who runs it is a staff in the White House. I'm not sure on that, but that's what I've heard. Whether they're staff or not, they do post his schedule as it is. But some of the comments that go along with it are not official, so you have to keep that in mind. But they had this. I wanted to show these to you. This was at the ceremony. They had this big glass encasement here. And I guess this is because it was an outdoor one, but he and the First Lady came up the steps here and went around there, so they were outside of it for a little while. So I'm not sure, it's just kind of weird that they had that, but I guess it's important. And they say here, many protective measures you never knew were there. Level 10 projectile resistant optical polycarbonate multi-layered shielding. Wow, isn't that something? And then, Here's a list of everybody that participated and all of that, the official press release. Here's another picture with Zenki, uh, that's the Interior Secretary. And it was chilly out there, it had a wind chill of 22 and you could see the wind blowing. And when POTUS was speaking, you could see in the background some things that were moving from the wind. So there was a bit of a breeze and it was a little chilly there. And then here they have the schedule and everything. And here's the side note. When we were ready to leave the ellipse, which is the place that it took place, the press pool vans were not loaded. So, get out your tiny violins. We left them behind. I thought that was kind of funny. And then here's a picture of the tent that they had for the press. And here they are. They get a tent. Ooh. I hope you have your tiny violins out. The reporter titled his picture, Your Abandoned Pool. Oh, you poor little things, you were abandoned. The press pool, after an excruciating wait of nine minutes and a four-minute van ride, got back to the White House at 1850-14. It's just funny. And then they also retweeted this from the Secret Service. Since the inaugural National Christmas Tree Lighting Ceremony in 1923, the Secret Service has been there to protect the first family and all those in attendance. Today is no different because protection never rests. And then they have the schedule here of the POTUS and everything. And these schedules are very accurate. So if you ever want to know what POTUS is doing, this is a great Twitter feed to follow. But it's very interesting that they had this from the Secret Service, and I know this is not an official account, I understand that, but all this about the press pool, they really did leave the press pool, which is highly unusual. That just doesn't happen. So what was going on? I don't know. There were some views in the video where POTUS was speaking at the podium, and there were possibly red lights, like laser target type lights. That was really unusual, but the Christmas tree is back over here, 
And so I think a lot of it was reflection. There were some Anons who were talking about, hey, maybe somebody was targeting him. Maybe it was a death threat. It could very well have been. Maybe that's why they rushed him out of there. I don't know. Maybe he was just cold. I don't know. But I think there probably was a reason because it's just unusual. I'm sure this was normal for being in that position. I don't recall seeing the Christmas tree lighting ceremony when Obama was in there, so I don't know if they had it then for him or what. But I do know that a lot of people want to see Trump dead, and that's something that is very serious. Those of you who are praying people, please keep him in prayer because his safety is vital to making sure all this happens. So we really need him to stay alive and healthy. So. I just wanted to point that out to you. No, I don't think that those were laser targets. But this did happen. Now, the Anons are very quick. When they see something like this, they screenshot it right away. This Anon took a screenshot of it. I believe this time is probably not Eastern because at 319, I don't think it was dark and they certainly weren't there. So I think that's probably a different time zone. But this is what this guy tweeted. Now this guy is from ABC. He's an ABC reporter, Tom Rusi. And he says, President at Real Donald Trump watching the performances at the National Christmas Tree Lighting as seen through the zoom lens of our ABC7 news camera. But look at this. It's like a crosshair. Well, when he put this up, People started noticing that and asking him, what in the world are you doing with a crosshair on the back of our president's head? And so that caused this guy, he took it down. But like I said, our Anons were faster and they screenshotted it. I deeply apologize for a tweet I sent earlier tonight that understandably upset a lot of people. I was hoping to get a nice picture of the president watching the Christmas tree ceremony from the back, like the back of his head? Really? That does not look like such a great picture. Anyway, but my phone camera zoom wasn't good enough, so we snapped a picture of the image we could see in our TV camera's lens. The lens has a cross in the middle of it. I didn't think too much of it until people started telling me on Twitter it looked like crosshairs on the president. I never delete tweets, but I deleted that one because it made me sick to think I was giving that impression. Another reason I'm horrified is because I've been very critical of a few of my fellow media members who have shown obvious bias against President Trump rather than covering him in an unbiased way like we should cover all presidents. I would never even want to be unfair, let alone do something like this. Anyway, I understand why people are mad and all I can say is I'm so sorry. Never in a million years would I have done something like that on purpose. Now. I think the guy probably is sincere. It's just very weird that these kinds of oops never happened to Obama and never happened to Hillary, never happened to those people. Why is that? So was it an oops or was it on purpose and they were trying to do something and were thwarted? This is the guy himself. Like I said, he's a reporter for this local ABC affiliate. He covers the D.C., Maryland, and Virginia for ABC7, graduate of Paint Branch High in Montgomery County and University of Maryland. Christian, loves sports, books, terps. So maybe he is, maybe he's genuinely sorry, but it just was very, very bizarre. I don't know, crosshairs on the president. Not something I would let through. But that's what I've got for you tonight. So weird things going on. Who knows why they had to leave early? I don't think anybody has said why they left early and why they left the press behind. I think that's kind of funny, actually. But that's what happened. And who knows? It could be many, many things. So this is what I wanted to share with you. I don't know if there was something to it. All I know is the Secret Service have been really doing their jobs. And those guys are on the ball. So I think it was taken care of. Now remember... On November 11th, when he was supposed to go to the cemetery for that speech, he did not go because of the fog, or at least that was the story that they gave out. The Secret Service would not let him go. That was the trick. There was possibly something that might have been dangerous for him to do, so they were trying to keep him from that. That's what these people do. God bless the Secret Service for keeping our POTUS safe. 
And that's what I had for you tonight. So thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you later.